Libraries have been the seat of learning for over 100 years, but in the last 10 to 15 years, um, new technology has become a major part of learning. So we've put active IT centres into every South Lanarkshire library. Each learning centre has at least one PC, and many have banks of up to 12. Um, they have printers, they have scanners, 10 of our libraries have Wi-Fi equipment. So even if you don't join a, a proper course, you can come into the library. It's either to learn or you, on your own or just to use um, the facilities. And internet uh, is of course free. I first heard about this course in a local library. Uh, just was interested in it. My husband had bought a computer and he didn't take any interest in it, so somebody had to do it. So I came along to this joined in here for first steps. Found it very interesting. A brilliant tutor who loads of time and patience to explain things to you. We offer um, IT courses in a number of our learning centres. In certain centres there is a dedicated IT suite where learning takes place, but in other centres the learning just takes place in the main IT centre. We offer um, courses starting with very basic introductions to IT, taking you right through to an ECDL. This is the First Steps course, which is very much aimed at complete beginners, people who've never touched a computer before. So we take them, it's a 12-week course, uh, one day a week for a three-hour class, we, with a break in the middle. We take them through from having never touched a computer before, we teach them how to turn it on, we teach them how to use the mouse, the keyboards, and then we teach them basic skills like how to store files on the computer, how to do basic word processing. My sons encourage me that I work with volunteer organisations. I obviously have to look and understand computers a little bit, but I'd gotten rusty because it's so many years since I did it. So uh, I saw this uh, advertised and uh, I, I called up and uh, joined the course and uh, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. It's uh, rejuvenating my brain a little bit. <laughs> Having to go back out to work now, that that's the children left to go to school and kind of bored. So I've been trying to kind of go down the avenues of what kind of skills I can do now. So really that, for to get back out to work and to help the kids with their computer as well. Now it's been good. I hadn't a clue with a lot of the things. I had done the basic. I've been mucking about with it myself. Um, and of course, getting the kids to show me, but it's over my head when they were showing me. But Grant's been really good. It's been explained really easily and really easy to follow and no problems, you know, getting them to help you or anything. So it's a lot easier to understand. When these courses were first launched, they weren't called First Steps, they were called Computing for the Terrified, Internet for the Terrified, and that was a very apt title because most people come into it for the first time, they are frightened of the technology. Their kids are way ahead of them and their self-confidence is really low. And every time they ask the family, you know, show me this, the family will go, yeah, you just go click, 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 click and that bewilders them, makes them their confidence go even lower. When they come to these classes, we go at a nice pace, we take the time to explain the terminology, and, and the first part of the course is designed purely to increase people's own self-confidence. And by the time they realise, you know, a month into the courses, they realise, I can do this. And as soon as they realise that, the confidence level goes through the roof and then the learning starts to go through, it accelerates. And I've had people come through the three courses, one straight after another. And that, that's a normal thing for us. We're very good at retaining and bringing people back again. They seem to enjoy it. I think it's because we've got the small class sizes. It's not too intimidating. And everybody's working from the same level. Uh, yeah, the classes are quite small and uh, maybe 10 to 12 people. And uh, it's always very helpful, you know, People just shout out if they're not sure how to do something. They just, you know, put their hand up or somehow indicate, you know, I can't do this or all the rest of it. And sometimes he'll stop, the, you know, the class and explain it to everybody because he thinks maybe it's worth explaining to everybody. Or else, some, if it's an individual problem, he'll come and show you, or you can ask him individually if you don't feel like confident enough to to put up your hand and shout out in the front of the whole class. He'll come along and say, well, do this, that, and the next thing, and he'll take you through it, and then he'll undo it. So you've got to do it properly <laughs> to make sure you've actually learnt it and not just uh, followed, you know, got him to do it, basically, and he's, he's sort of uh, good in that way. We also set some assignments. We use a website. We set uh, items online for homework. We ask folks to copy them, save them to the pen drive, bring them in. But, but we teach them how to do all these things before we start giving them those kind of assignments. There is no typical user for active IT in libraries. Um, 
silver surfers, children, everybody in between, people with lots of knowledge of IT, people with no knowledge of IT, they're all welcome in libraries and they're all welcome to use the Active IT Centre. The library's a great venue because they're easily accessible for local communities. They've also got some great facilities, for instance this room here is set aside from the public area, you've got a good teaching board, there's very few distractions and it's the same in some of the other libraries, East Kilbride, Rutherglen this year has been refitted with a brand new suite, so they're superb locations, easily accessible for folks who don't drive because they're right in the middle of the local communities, so it's, it's a good place to, to be trained. Some users will do one course, some will progress from first steps to next steps, right through to ECDL and may then go on to college from that. Some users will come and learn a little bit so they can look at getting back into the job market, but ultimately most users come back and use the facilities in here for other things. We are developing a course for people who would like to get beyond Google and learn to use the net using other search engines. We are also developing a course for family history research to help people learn how to use things like Scotland's People, which are now available to help your family history research. That, that's the sort of more fun side, less serious business side. There's the digital media course. We're teaching people how to use MP3 players, how to burn their own CDs, how to load podcasts into their MP3 player, how to listen to audiobooks so you can download and buy books from the internet and listen to the MP3 player. From there we take them in to show them how to use a digital camera, how to get the pictures into the computer, how to print them, how to create your own photo albums on CDs. And then we teach them how to make their own home movies using their own pictures their own music, their own titles. That's an eight-week course. I thought I knew a bit about computers and that. It's making me a proper uh, insight in how, to, how to operate a computer in the, in the proper way. So I would thoroughly recommend it to anyone, no matter how much of a dinosaur they would be. And I'm one of the original dinosaurs when it comes to computers. And what Grant has shown me over the last eight, ten weeks uh, it's been brilliant.